Greetings and welcome to the Mount Rushmore Podcast. I'm Jeff, and I'm joined as always by my good buddies Richard. Hello. And Michael. Howdy. Richard and Michael, they like to discuss the top four of many topics, and this time the topic is bumper stickers. Oh my gosh, I break for topics like this. <laughs> <laughs> what the... Uh, what did you, uh, why did you choose this, Michael? Oh, me. I saw a bumper sticker. I literally saw a bumper sticker, and um, I, I don't know if it's going to be on your list, Richard, but it's the Not of This World. Hmm. No, the not NOTW on my list. kind of Christian bumper sticker that you see everywhere that's just this weird kind of up floating semicircle with uh, that. I, I get it. I, a proclamation of um, your own personal um, religiousness and divinity is, I'm sure, really important to you as a, and important to put on the back of your, um, you know, Honda Civic. And that's what Jesus is really looking for. He's just he's just back there, just <laughs> looking to see how many bumper stickers are out there carrying the message. But no, I th- I thought about that sort of aspect of bumper stickers and what a person has chosen to place, you know, a film of plastic on their very expensive car and what that says about them and what they want to project to the world. But I was thinking, oh boy, there is like a history of these things that dates back, I don't know, you know, 50, 60 years now. And there is just this collective knowledge of these things. I don't know. Mm -hmm. There's uh, bumper stickers. They tell you everything about a person driving the car, whether you want to know them know about them or not. And I think it's the the choice to put them on a car is very interesting. Also, I, the number of bumper stickers that you choose to put on your car is very yeah. interesting. <laughs> it's like, how much do you think I can read going 70 miles per hour? <laughs> how, how much of your worldview? Uh, you know what I find is interesting is that bumper stickers, I remember y- it seemed like you were, they were a place where you were entitled to your opinion on this thing that you pay monthly on and you can deface in whatever way you want. But yeah. one thing that's nice is there were an opinion, unlike what we're encountering now where people have their opinion on science that becomes their right to, to, um, to live that opinion out. <laughs> so at least a bumper sticker was innocuous. And unless the person was backing into you, they, with their car, they weren't hurting you with it. So I think uh, there. Are, I think there are also like bumper stickers that are just like um, ubiquitous that everyone has some sort of sense of uh, knowledge about. And then there's like, you know, there's stuff that is like imp- imparted onto a parent's bumper sticker by a kid that doesn't actually own this car. But what? What's the? Yeah. What's, what is mom or dad gonna do? Ah. Suddenly you have like a K rock bumper sticker on your car and you're just like, God damn it. <laughs> why, why did yeah. my, my, my 15 year old son put this fucking awful K rock bumper sticker on my, well, I guess my car's not worth that much. So what am I going to do? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that there's definitely a level of like, um, uh, what the car is actually worth the, Im- the implied value of it versus like, yeah go for it Mm -hmm. i'm hauling i'm hauling tools around in this thing okay do we can we delineate now that it is different than our bumper stickers different than the um calvin pissing on ford symbols okay yes those that's not a bumper sticker it's not a okay it does not go on your bumper so okay all right um michael you chose it richard starts all right so my first choice is and this is something you'll see in los angeles quite frequently is the car that is just covered on the back with bumper stickers. Yeah. I mean, look, here's the thing. I get having one, maybe a couple of bumper stickers to kind of showcase something that you believe or something you're proud of or even a joke that you think is funny. But when, when I need a library card to be able to check out your car, to have enough time to be able to actually read everything that's there, you've overdone it. (laughs) <laughs> do do you find look for um because that's a terrible like, analogy by the way my god a library did i say library sure. card no, library yeah, yeah. card oh, that's awful yeah never no i should never i should I never do it. i should never do that again 
Anyway, proceed. <laughs> um, do you think that is for a vehicle at in motion or at rest? Like, do you think that guy has that thing parked out in front of his head shop in uh, Glendale, his, his hookah bar? <laughs> yeah. Right. And that's the message? Or do you think uh, he figures we're going to see all that when we're stuck in bumper to bumper on the 101? I think it's more the second one. Okay. I think that they're 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 trying to target people who are stuck in traffic and you're stuck behind him and suddenly you've just got this plethora of really weird things to yeah. read. And you yeah. know, and it's it's always like the Greenpeace guy. Yeah. That's always I can guarantee you 90% of cars that are full, filled with bumpers have the make world peas. Yeah, coexist. Coexist. Uh-huh. It's got oh, a green piece on, bumper sticker. On all my stuff. Oh, oh, sorry. Boy. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> well, my point is, it's that guy. Yeah. And that guy thinks he might actually be making a change. That you might look at mm. that and go, green piece. Right. Yeah. I hadn't thought of that before. It's like, come on. You know what I find is interesting is what what the, the situational uh, communication platform that a bumper sticker is exists of so that guy might not in his job at bank of america get to say to every customer hey coexist man <laughs> you know or, yeah. or whatever but uh he, his first amendment rights are alive and well in the back of his subaru so uh and i think there's something about the anonymity of being in a vehicle that has a negative effect you know as people flip you off on the 405 because they think they're never going to see you again um but uh and you might not have to be accountable for your um uh you can pry my gun bumper sticker um when you're en route but uh somebody might confront you about it if you were to spew it out to somebody in person i don't know yeah i think i think i think that there is a weird strange um like delight when you see like a Twitter thread that shows someone that someone has posted like the back of some crazy ass like Trump supporter who has just like the, the cavalcade of just like things that cover not only the bumper, but the back of the car, the back of the windshield, the side of the car, like the person that has decided that they are going to live their life as like a, a driving billboard for Trumpism or Greenpeaceism or whatever whatever sense of like um social thing they're trying to put out there that just like you're either trying to get into a fight with someone or you're um there there's a confrontation that you are desiring yeah either a, you you are in search in search of just this conversation to be held with no one else that wants to talk to you mhm that you're forcing upon everyone, whether you're saying like, you know, um, ban the nukes or nuke the whales or, um, Trump is King or, um, you know, give peace a chance there. There's the aggressive forcefulness of your own opinion. That's on the back of your car. Yeah. Cause it's that, never on the front of your car. No, <laughs> that's, I think cars for is the, where the cars have the personality of the, of the bumper stickers, <laughs> or can you imagine the um, the Humvee that doesn't like? No, oh, I'm a pacifist. I I just have all these stupid bumper stickers <laughs> on my back. Okay, well, I don't want to step on your um uh, no, your choice, fine. but uh, Richard, that was a interesting um uh first outing because you weren't talking about a specific message, but the volume. Yes, I'm talking okay. about just the overwhelming nature of. Having too many bumper stickers on your yeah. car. Just too yeah. many. Uh, what's your first, Michael? Well, my first is the Coexist bumper oh, okay. sticker. Okay, and there we go. This, this is this, uh, in theory, it is a projection of a very peaceful message of like, oh, can all the Christians and Jews and Hindus and fill in the blank of uh, Muslims and every, in theory, and, you know, all of, Everybody, let's just all get together and put everything behind us in the form of a bumper sticker, a bumper sticker. And like, I don't know. I, in theory, it's like ideal. I get it. But in practice, it is just like, it's so boring. 
(laughs) (laughs) It's so trite. It's so like, I, and you see it so much. Maybe I don't, it depends on where you are in the country, how often you see it. But like here in Los Angeles, it is, boy, if you want to really give a really plain vanilla gift to someone, give them a coexist bumper sticker. (laughs) Uh, do you think it seems too wishy-washy liberal? Do you think it seems too, or not assertive enough think, in any certain direction? I think it's appeasing to. I think it's appeasing to no one. Like it doesn't. What? What do you? Uh, it, it is the equivalent yeah. of, um, you know, Ringo Starr's appearance in anything. Just love <laughs> and peace. Yeah. It's like it. It doesn't mean anything. It's, yeah. It doesn't take a stand. It's just there. Yeah. And it's just like, all right. Mm-hmm. You might as well like paste it just like a blank sticker. Like uh, I'm declaring myself for nothing and I'm declaring myself for everything. Yeah. And uh, it's just exasperating. It's just exasperating. Mm-hmm. I'm not to say that I don't have family members that have this because I do. Yeah. But it's just like, I don't know. What, what is the choice that you're making? All of these things are choices. You're mm-hmm. choosing yourself. You're choosing some sort of message to portray to the world. And the thing that you're portraying is uh, something pretty lukewarm. Interesting at this yeah. Point. yeah. Lukewarm. What a great way to put it. Okay. Uh, man, Freddie, what do you got? All right. So my second choice is uh, when I was in college, I had bought a 16-year-old's. Rush- I had bought 16 year olds. You're no, 16 year old. I had, not, I had not bought a 16 year old in college. I was <laughs> years later. Okay. And now I had bought a, a Russia's Reich bumper sticker at a county fair. R I C R R E I C H, like Third Reich. Because oh, wow. I thought that I thought that was funny. And I t- drove the car back home to you know Central California one time. And to my horror, it was ripped in half while I was at a friend's place. Wow. And I know exactly who did it. It was a, it was a, uh, a, Name them. <laughs> it was, it was, it was Getty Lee. It was, it was a Neil Pert. <laughs> no. Um, it was a friend of mine from high school who was more, certainly more right wing than I was, uh, when we were growing up and now became a full out, full blown Trump supporter and we don't talk anymore. And I just remember being so like mad about it, but mad in a very specific way because I was just like, why did you rip half of this off? Now I got half a bumper sticker I got to deal with. I just remember being PO'd about that. Oh, which side? I think it was, ironically, I think it was the left side. Oh, so it just said Reich? Yeah, I think it just said Reich on it, which is kind of uncomfortable to be driving around with. That's not good. No, it's not great. And I just, and it's just funny that this this anger that people could have over something as stupid as a bumper sticker mm-hmm. is just funny to me. Yeah. Um, did did you have other bumper stickers on there? No, I think that was the only one I had. Okay, he wasn't mad at your wall drug bumper sticker. No, no, no. The uh, my uh, yeah, no, none of the no no other bumper stickers to get mad at. Just that one. Yeah. I'd be interested to find out if there's like the coexist almost seems like it's the closest to the uh, Ramones t-shirt or the CBGB t-shirt of bumper stickers. Like the yes. thing that's just the hot topic, um, uh, generic um, rebellion, <laughs> rebellious statement or, or something. So, okay. Uh, all right. So uh, what's your second, Michael? Winfield? My second choice is the triple letter country or oh yeah, state, yeah. <laughs> uh origin of declaring yourself from like i think I- right now yeah <laughs> yeah <You're right. laughs> i think right now we are all um uh kind of behind the ukraine in yeah. terms of like what we are supporting in terms of like the terror that's being inflicted upon them and their stand for freedom against a uh, another country and superpower and war and all this, but you know, 
I, I don't need to know that you're from Ireland or that your ancestors are from Ireland. Literally, it is like it is so unimportant. It is so boring. I don't know. Every I think stump, bumper stickers ultimately tend to kind of verge into that. Like, why? Why is this? Why do you need to tell me these things? Yeah. <laughs> why do Why do I need to know that you uh, uh, FRA? Hmm. <laughs> Where are you from today? Uh, <laughs> there are certain countries though that you don't see them from. You don't see like. You don't see like one from like JPN. You don't see like the Japanese oh, yeah. bumper sticker. Yeah. It you seems know, like, like a Euro thing. Yeah. You don't see like one that's like, oh, what's that? K O R Korea. Oh, that's a Korean bumper sticker. That it's like you a hundred percent see like Yeah. Uh ITL. Yeah, I uh-huh. get it. You're from Italy. <laughs> it does seem like the equivalent of that girl who comes home from summer after, you know, her junior year. And she's got this new food that you've never tried called Toblerone. You know, like, hey. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we we get it. We get it. There's just like this strange projection of like your own personal like ancestry and nationality. Mm-hmm. That, like, I just, I, you know, it's very odd. Like either I can, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Yeah. But you see them all over the place and these, you know, it's these identities that I think, you know, cars have become these, just these huge identity markers of like, mm-hmm. who are you? Where are you from? What is your story that doesn't, that don't mean anything? Yeah. You know, you go on Facebook and you see like, you can click on someone's profile and you can see all the things that they have liked or like, or mm-hmm. the music they're into or uh, the schools they've been in. And, this is just another aspect of this is like, I, I don't, why do I need to know that you are from, Yeah, you know, Belarus, uh, unfortunately. Maybe yeah. You've got the cool. ENG sticker it means you, you went to England, but you're driving a Toyota. So what, where are your, where are your oh, loyalties? You're loyalties. not driving an MG. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe you're just like really into like, British comedies from the uh-huh. 80s, which I would really love, but I'd, I'd rather see like an outline of like, you know, the heads of the young ones rather than ENG. That like, <laughs> I will connect to you on a, on a level uh, very specifically. I think that's the thing is there's, there are aspects of bumper stickers that really could allow you to connect to a person. Mm-hmm. But when it's so broad, it ends up being nothing. Yeah. Was it, uh, I think the back of Rolling Stone or National Lampoon or something that sold, this was during the 80s or early 90s, was, there was a spate of I Heart My Dachshund, I Heart My mm. Doberman. And this was just a, a screw, uh image of a screw, a graphic, you know, line art image of screws. <laughs> you, so a mischievous person could put that over the heart on somebody's bumper sticker um, and vandalize it. So it seems like they screw their Yorkie or something like that. Funny stuff. Perfect Bart break. Simpson. Bart Simpson would be yeah. so proud. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're taking the break here, uh, but uh, we just giving you the break to grab your device, your listening device and download past episodes and let us know which ones you like. And then think of uh, grab that device keep that device in your hand and then go out and join us on facebook instagram and twitter and get in the dialogue with millions of other people who are uh talking to us about the episodes that they like and then the episodes they they would love to hear us do so that's that's this gentlemen do you have anything you want to add no i think you said it perfectly okay, okay. also i wasn't paying any attention so. okay okay um um I, let's was, was this this still the suggestion to rate us at zero because I'm, I'm still for Oh, it. that's right. You're still yeah. for it? Yeah. I, I think drag us down to the sewers. Oh, yeah. Because we'll, we'll be famous. Let's, let's get that mutagen on us. Let's we get can't, the sewer rats on us. We can't get to the top of the ratings. We can make it so if you sort by ratings and you accidentally start descending yeah. instead of ascending. There you go. That's exactly we, it. We can be at the top yeah. of that list. We get first pick in the podcast draft next year so we can pull a Rogan or a Marin. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> How Which is this? going to be unfortunate for one of us, but you know, yeah. hey, it's all it's all for the team. So yeah, let's let's change the format. Top of the worst. 
Yes. Let's find the four. Mount Worstmore. <laughs> the Mount Worstmore. The four worst aspects of anything. And you'd be like, okay, well, what is uh, what is the worst donut? And you're just like, whoa, now I really got to think because I really like donuts. Oh, it's, the the sto- donut. it's the Stone Mountain podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, what is that in uh, Bolt, Stone, well, Stone Mountain, Georgia? Or yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, did they... Did they? Did that one get uh, um, canceled? Like, I don't think. Chisel? No, they didn't. I don't think. Okay. I think they so they're still going strong with a laser light show there too. So we're back, and now it's Richard's <laughs> third. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, guys. I don't even know. I'm. I don't know. No, my third choice is the thing that I learned from having my Rush's Reich bumper sticker half ripped off my car, which is getting the rest of an old bumper sticker off your car is basically impossible. Yes. Oh. <laughs> if anyone has ever tried to do this, you will know the pain that comes yeah. if you're going to really sell your car or let's say your bumper sticker is just you've gotten sick of it or it's you know starting to look kind of dingy and you just don't want it on there anymore. Good luck, pal. Because you're, it's, it's a day long process that involves razor blades and gooby gone, Vaseline, God knows what else you could, you got to use, and you're still not going to get all the stickies. If you're lucky, you'll get the actual bumper sticker part of it off, but you're still going to have the sticky adhesive part that's going to stay to it. And I don't know yeah, how there, you get, I don't know how you get rid of that. There is, is the ghostly remains that has stayed upon your car for the rest of eternity that uh, you try to sell it through, you know. Uh, you give it away to 1877 Cards for Kids, and even even that ghost continues upon to the next family that has to deal with <laughs> whatever, whatever stickiness. That's incredible. What a, what a great choice, Richard. Yeah. The sticky. The stickiness, the sticky, yeah. The stickiness, okay. Um, that's so funny yeah there uh it's funny because it creates just this shadow and it creates just this 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 feeling that you have made a choice to apply this sticker to your car and this is not a temporary choice this is a permanent choice yeah and it's not a, just a permanent choice for you but whoever has who whoever shall own this car it's a curse these these bumper stickers <laughs> yeah. are cursed yeah this is what it comes down to it is something that you have just like for forever. Uh, Do either of you have like the losing uh, president and vice president sticker? Because that's something uh, that no, oh, what no, great, do not. That's a great one though. Because it almost yeah. feels like they should be able to send those off to a third world country, like the um, <laughs> like the losing <laughs> Super Bowl team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhere, somewhere in Honduras, somewhere, somewhere in like a yeah. El Salvador. <laughs> There's someone uh, driving a car with a Hillary 2000 or Hillary <laughs> yeah. uh, bumper sticker wearing a Bengals shirt. Yeah, what could what, what could be what could be the bumper sticker that is currently in circulation? You know, that's out there that you'd see the 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 farthest back. Maybe um, do you think there are uh, is it Carter hmm. Mondale? <laughs> yeah, not even Carter Mondale. Who when did um who did uh george bush defeat the first george bush it wasn't uh, dukakis. 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 Yeah. yeah i bet there's a dukakis bumper sticker yeah that's still on a volvo it's probably a volvo yeah that's still, that's still driving around or a toyota or around. something a supra yeah um god what did make me think of oh fleeting thought maybe it'll fleet back what's your third michael uh, my third choice is the proud parent of blank at oh. whatever blank school. <laughs> whatever, whatever this thing that is, has been foisted upon the parents, um, either by the child's choice or by their own um, yeah. supercilious sort of um, notion of uh, importance. Uh, I don't even want to suggest that these are bumper stickers that you get for your child or from your child that have gone to college. Like the proud parent of a child from like, you know, Texas A&M. But we're not even talking about that. We're talking about like elementary school <laughs> bumper stickers. 
things that are have you know these things that are foisted upon you by the uh i don't know some sort of um fundraising drive or whatever we get everyone is there not a a, a parent that is not a proud parent of whatever yeah. you haven't shelled out you know seven to nine dollars for for the sticker that you put on your the back of your tesla now <laughs> uh, that would be funny if it, if it was living in continual shame of my student at <laughs> yeah <laughs> Sort of apathetic toward yeah. my C student <laughs> at Wilson Junior I, High. There's a couple there, you know, there's a couple of them. There's one that is like my child attends this. And then it's like my proud parent of can you imagine if you're make trying to make a choice between bumper stickers and it's just like, well <laughs> I don't know if I'm proud, <laughs> but I will acknowledge that they go to this school. Yeah. I don't have joint custody, so I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'm probably not even legally allowed to use to put this on my car. Just, just the gradation of just different levels of like what you're accepted to of like, hmm, okay. Uh, my child attends blank elementary school. Yeah. Uh, my child is an honor student at blank elementary school. Proud parent of child at blank mm -hmm. elementary school. Proud proud parent of honors child like you just have to go through the list of like and i wonder <laughs> if they just hand them out to you at some point there's like you're not technically you can't get that sticker i know i know i know your daughter goes to the school but like she's good but she's not like that good so you're not allowed to get this sticker or like this magnet or whatever that goes on your bumper okay you can get the magnet which means you can take it off so she's on like a kind of like a a trial basis, but she's she's not doing that great. <laughs> she could do great, but no, she's not doing that great. All right, uh, man, Freddie, your last this is your last. All right, so my last choice is the sixteen point two slash thirteen point one marathon bumper sticker. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. And let me just say. You smug motherfuckers. <laughs> Wait, 26.2. 26.2. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Okay. No, I don't know what I said. Can I restart yeah. that and we can just re edit that? Yeah. Okay. So, my last choice is the 26.2 slash 13.1 marathon bumper sticker. Ah, good choice. Yes. And listen, you smug motherfuckers. <laughs> I hate you all. Not because you completed a marathon and I can't, I can barely go up my one flight of stairs in my house without getting winded. But, you know, I've done a lot of things I'm proud of. I don't put them on the back of a bumper. So I, I, I drank 24 beers in one, in one sitting one time. I have a podcast. You don't see me put Mount Rushmore podcast on a, on a <laughs> bumper sticker. I didn't know, or just something really cryptic like, did a podcast. I wouldn't put that on there. It's just Richard, can, can we marry your first and your fourth choices? To yes. The person that just is the, the entire back of their, um, I don't know, their what's Camry. the worst possible car I can think of. No, it's, but it's got to be kind of quasi, you know, SUV, alt utility vehicle. Hummer. And Aztec. Those are pretty ugly. I don't know if they're there you go. anymore. How about a, a the Az, an Aztec entirely covered with the back of just different, like numbers of how many different, um, uh, marathons and sub marathons that someone has written. This yeah, run. unbelievable. I just it, there's there's no reason to have that bumper sticker on your car unless you're trying to make me feel bad about <laughs> having not done a marathon, <laughs> or you're trying to and at the same time you're trying to make yourself look like a big shot. You're just bragging. That is that is the the bumper sticker version of bragging, and I know there are other ways to brag. Like Michael, you mentioned the, uh, you know, my kid is an honor student at so and so school. Yes. Yeah, that is also a form of a brag, but that's not a brag that makes other people feel bad about themselves. You know, yeah. in the same way that the marathon bumper sticker does. And let's address the thirteen point one, the half marathon bumper sticker. <laughs> you didn't even do a full marathon, and you're bragging about it. <laughs> stop stop it 
I also That's think it. it's it's so audacious. Like if you're such a great runner, why are you driving? <laughs> That's true. You can't you can't run everywhere, can you? Well, you can't Idiot. put a bumper can't put a bumper sticker on your butt. Yeah, during yeah. the marathon, <laughs> that might be good. But okay, the uh, the running accomplishment. I love that. It doesn't like do like the the. the Three, the 5k <laughs> 3.2 miles 3.2 <laughs> oh good job okay what's your final one michael uh my last choice is gas grass or ass oh no, no one right. rides for free is See, that an actual is... bumper sticker or is that just like a, oh. a, a concept oh, yeah. of a bumper sticker that we all think of from some movie but it never actually existed uh i I think it has existed in uh, a text form and now it currently exists as like a pictograph form. Um, mm. But just the, idea, you know, at some point there was an idea that like hitchhiking was an acceptable form of travel from one place to another. And I love the, I don't love, it's despicable. Like just the, the childish person that has decided that um, the only way that um, I will accept that you will this form of transportation that has been accepted is whether you're going to pay me in gas money uh whether you're going to give me weed or th th some sort of sexual behavior uh <laughs> sexual encounter is going to be involved is like and that you just i don't know is is there like a court of law that will accept that bumper sticker that's just like well i took a ride from them <laughs> and did you pay them well no i went from you know in Tuscaloosa to, uh, uh, you know, wherever I was going. Well, uh, and, and what did you pay them in? Did you give them gas money? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Well, was, you know, was a weed involved? No. no. <laughs> we, uh, did they fuck you? No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, you're going in jail now. <laughs> like what, whatever. It's just like, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, it, it helps that, um, they all rhyme, I guess. Yeah. Well, you know, I just uh, did a Google, a quick eBay search to see if they're actually being currently sold on eBay. Yes. And they are. Um, and so is the Spanish version. Gasola, yerba, o, o culo, no he viajes gratis. <laughs> I mean, does not. Jeff, just, I didn't know you were a native Spanish yeah, speaker. Yeah. It was like we just went to Mexico. Just for that just, I think like that's just caballeros trends. here. Yeah, yeah. When, uh, just let let well enough alone with like translation. Yeah. Um, at, at, in the basement of a business I used to work in was a, uh, a mail order <laughs> fulfillment center, and it was for the back of like uh, biker magazines and stuff like that. So it was all the stuff that you remember or think you remember from the seventies and eighties, and and the most weird, you know, brass knuckles, Farrah Fawcett posters, um, um, bumper stickers. Um, so like but, an, ad an adult back of the grit magazine. Yeah. Yeah. That, that kind of stuff. Um, switchblade combs and, and Nazi, you know, Hessian biker symbols and things like that. And they definitely had the gas grass or ass in bumper I sticker and in patch form. Yeah decal form i'm really i'm really intrigued by the uh p possible bumper sticker on the back of a motorcycle that seems like i've really got to narrow this down to the smallest possible yeah. bit of real estate <laughs> okay so i've got this thing who am i trying like nobody wants to be behind a motorcycle motorcycle anyway they're always trying to speed away from me the person that is trying to put a bumper sticker on the back of a motorcycle god bless them they are that is an uphill battle i love i love the idea that i expect to negotiate with i, I expect i will only negotiate with a, a person who's standing on the side of the road <laughs> who either who has for some reason gas but no car yeah. um they 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 have a narcotic to impair my driving yep yeah. Or their sweaty, sweaty body has been standing on the side of the road forever, and I want to have intimate relationships with that. <laughs> like, no, no, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want none of that. 
but you do bring up an interesting uh, point, and I see it in T-shirt form. Oh, God, I hope not. A lot. And that is the uh, statement of policy or statement of personal um, um, limitations or uh, my unacceptance of things that fall below my standard. And, you know, at Disneyland, well, Disney World, I'll see a lot of, like, older guys with a shirt that says, I'm always grumpy or something like that, you know? And that's the lightweight version of that shirt that you'll be standing in, in uh, behind of the guy with like the uh, QAnon kind of dude who's got that kind of messaging on there. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the aggressively antagonistic statements that you see on some of these, I just, ugh, come on people. Let's, can't we all just coexist? Oh, uh, you did it. I did. Richard, right back to the beginning. Oh, uh, what, a pro, what a pro. The pro's pro, everybody. Pros, yeah. Jeff Hopkins. Yeah. Um, okay, did we wrap it up? Yeah, let's, let's like we get, wrap your choice, get your choices. Okay. okay um, uh, I I feel like car covered with bumper stickers is just kind of, kind of vague. I realize it's about the topic, but I think my mind was searching for examples of bumper stickers, which... Is you again, Richard, thinking beyond the parameters? Um, and I appreciate you shared the personal story. Um, but I'm gonna go with the 26.2, 13.1, because fuck those people. Yeah. Um, yeah. and then let's go with coexist because it's so ubiquitous. And let's go with proud parent of. <laughs> and is that it? Is that three? Um well, did you want it? Did you want to choose tons of stickers? No, no. I okay. think that's, well, then that's I think, only three. Okay, then let's go with um, um, gas, grass, or ass because I think that's our new podcast policy. Um, ratings, topics, or comments. Nobody listens for free. That's true. <laughs> if you're out there and you're thinking I can just cruise along, yeah. You're in the back seat of this podcast. Yeah. Brother, you got another thing coming to you. Yeah. You're like the guy Jimmy Wales is pissed off at whenever you go to Wikipedia and you're trying to raise money. You're the person who's just glomming. Glomming on. I love it. I love, I love it. it. I love it. I love it. All right. It's eleven oh five East Coast. <laughs> I've been ineffective it's, since six thirty. <laughs> it's time for Jeff to go to bed. He's got a <laughs> He's in Florida. He's got alligators <laughs> to run away from. He's been running away from alligator, alligators all yeah. weekend. Uh, this has been the Mount Rushmore of Who's He What's It's and Fulberti Gibbets. Um, I'm Jeff. I'm Richard. Oh my God. I'm Michael. Oh my God. <laughs> I got there. I got, got there. there. Took a while. Got there in the end. <laughs>